In a rare address by a foreign leader to a joint meeting of the U.S. Congress, French President Emmanuel Macron played up long-standing ties between the two nations. We have fought shelter to shelter many battles, starting with those that gave birth to the United States of America. Since then, we have shared a common vision for humanity. Despite that common vision, the French president spent much of his speech pointing out differences between his country and the U.S. under President Donald Trump. Macron spoke against trade wars. I believe we can build the right answers to legitimate concerns regarding trade imbalances, excesses and overcapacities by negotiating through the World Trade Organization and building cooperative solutions. We wrote these rules. We should follow them. Macron urged the U.S. to come back to the Paris Climate Agreement. Let us face it. There is no planet B. During his U.S. visit, Macron has tried to convince Trump to remain in the Iran nuclear deal. Before House and Senate lawmakers, Macron spoke of respecting Iran's sovereignty and urged the U.S. to not scrap the deal while also talking tough, using the kind of language Trump may respond to. Iran shall never possess any nuclear weapons. Not now, not in five years, not in ten years, never. Throughout the speech, Macron encouraged the U.S. to once again embrace multilateralism. We can build the 21st century world order based on a new breed of multilateralism, based on a more effective, accountable, and results-oriented multilateralism, a strong multilateralism. This requires, more than ever, the United States' involvement. But multilateralism is a tough sell for a U.S. president who campaigned promising to put America first, even when that message is coming from a close U.S. ally like France. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.